There's our save file. Four stars out of what I presume will be five. Yee! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. It is day 11 of the recording and I'm guessing that this is going to be the last part of ye old story mode here. Because there is what I think is one level left and I expect it to be the king of all levels. Well, maybe. <laughs> So anyway, as I've said, I'm going to go to the Mushroom Houses and see what I can win here. I'm going to aim... Oh wow, that, that top one there could be a problem. But I'm going to aim for a penguin suit so I can show that off later, I suppose. Anyway, I'm going to... No, not you. Not you either. No, 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 no. No, not you either. I want you there. And I, I lost the penguin suit. <laughs> Uh, well, no, boy, well, I was doomed to fail that one from the start, I guess. <laughs> Too bad. Maybe the uh, mushroom houses will reset after I uh, beat the last level or something like that. Maybe, maybe not, you never know. Alright, this time I'm going to watch for the toad head. Much, much more carefully. Because I was watching the penguin suit too much. <laughs> and hopefully I'm going to get the penguin suit on this run. I don't know if I will. And go. Please walk over there, please. There you go. <laughs> ah, there we go. Now I can show it off. Ah, and I got two of them. That's even better. That's like the best result I could have gotten there. <laughs> Based on what I was aiming for. Voila. And another one bites the dust. And you already seen the propeller suit, so I suppose this one probably won't matter all that much, but it's another shuffle game. The old shell game. I'm just gonna watch the two items. And hopefully I will win. Uh uh. Um, I think it's the two end ones. Uh, uh, oh! <laughs> At least seems like I'm one off on the second one. Oh. Alright, final level, let's get it started! And if I have time, I'm going to see in this part what that uh, special uh, boost m rush mode, I think it was called on the main menu. Follow that shell! Hmm, am I actually supposed to follow a shell throughout an entire level, like after kicking it? Who knows? But it looks like we got a chain reaction going here just to get to the first star coin, which is ridiculously easy. Unless the gimmick of this level is going to be like a pure shell based level just to get coins and whatnot I or maybe it's just like a it feels like a bonus level is there's, <laughs> there's not much difficulty going on here oh I see uh, you it liter it quite literally is following the shell and this is going to um, go back and forth infinitely isn't it at least until it comes back around for the second run so there we go. <laughs> uh, wait, actually, maybe it would be a good idea to throw it down that way. I didn't see any coins down that way anyway, so it's like, oops. Oh, jeez. <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Well, I hope that wasn't important. Well, there's another shell right here. So what they're expecting me to do is this. What I'm really looking for is, you know, star coins. <laughs> and I just don't want to miss any along the way. I know that red shelled Koopa is going to respawn once I... Yeah. So, okay, now I'm gonna follow it, see how it goes. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> I didn't know it could hit uh, coins like that. I mean, hit uh, blocks like that. And it's going up, it's going up, oh man. Uh, how far will the shell go anyway? Who knows? I wonder how many lives you could possibly get in this one. Come to think of it. I uh, must get over to the coin. Oh shoot, why did I do that? I knew that was coming back too. That was a complete derp on my part. 
<laughs> All right, attempt number two, even though the first one was not much of an attempt because that was, I mean, it is a really, really easy level. <laughs> Or it's at least it seems like it's an e it's an easy level. Maybe the last star coin is going to be a lot harder, or something. I don't know. But I'm going to just because I can skip all this because I noticed there wasn't anything all that special there. Hopefully there wasn't a star coin down there. I don't think so because I don't see any like alcoves or something like that around there. So I'm just going to trust that I'm not missing missing anything over there. And now I shall follow that shell! Whee! It's definitely a very well set up level, that's for sure. Because you have to set all this stuff up so that you have to dodge a shell along the way as well. And yeah, I mean, it's not hard to dodge a shell, of course, but it's, it's just the thing of that. It's, it's the setup that's the interesting thing. Alright, break your way down to that coin, baby! Actually, will you be able to break your way down to that coin? No, hmm. Maybe this will be trickier than I thought. Oh, there's the last... Wait, how did you get to that star coin? <laughs> Am I supposed to, like, probably doing another impossible jump here, or attempting another impossible jump? <laughs> uh, no, I don't think it's possible to, to go up there. But... I, oh! Well, that explains how you get that. Or at least I think. Or at least that's what I was supposed to do with the shell. Don't respawn. I mean, don't despawn there, P-Switch. Can I go back? I can't go back. Hmm. Well, maybe there's some way to do this. With just this P-Switch alone. Probably not. <laughs> just looking at the setup here. Hmm. Unless there's going to be another P-Switch there. No. Ah, oh, poopers. <laughs> I think what I was supposed to do was, uh, um, while the shell was traveling, I was supposed to time the P-switch and whatnot to that. But anyway, what? Oh, there's probably a vine in one of these. Okay. Though well, this is an extremely easy stage, that's for sure. Well, aside from that shell puzzle you see. But yeah, this is a like a really, really casual romp. I was expecting the final stage to be like ridiculously impossible or something like that but no it's a it's a pretty gentle puzzle stage <laughs> all right so this this one right here this one's already complete so i can skip that but i am curious now like maybe there's more to this area than initially thought i mean i initially thought here no maybe not but it does seem to have a fairly decent potential, you know, to go with the shells. Boop. I'm just trying to think of how to do that P-Switch puzzle, so pardon the quietness. <laughs> Although some might uh, be appreciative of the quietness, but uh, if you're appreciative of the quietness, you probably shouldn't be here. <laughs> okay, that was apparently how the shell was supposed to work the first time around. You know, the way that it bounced from stair to stair. I don't know what I did differently. Maybe I threw it at uh, too fast of a speed. That's why I missed. What's the point of that cloud down there? Is that just like to catch the shell or something? Like, just in case. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to... Collect these. Oh, I see. I'm actually supposed to use the shell down this route. Ah, okay. So that... That P-switch there, the point of that was, I, I didn't recognize that, that the first time around. You're actually supposed to use the shell to collect the coins and uh, create the path there. Alright, that makes a lot more sense. But now that I know it's there, I can push, or at least I should be able to do it easily. <laughs> I hope I'll be able to do it easily. Really short stage, so I'm not even bothering cutting right here. <laughs> I'm just going to... Gently throw that around there and see it missed the missed the coin staircase there again, or maybe I didn't throw it fast enough. Maybe it, it like maybe it's too slow or something when that happens or whatnot. And you know I I didn't even need to do that that shell run there. That was the dumbest death I've ever done. <laughs> what I wanted to do is grab a shell 
and collide it in with the other one so that it would stop moving. So it wouldn't kill off the other shells. But that was... I totally missed the shell that I was aiming for. Dear Lord. <laughs> but anyway, now that I know, I don't need even that shell to do that second portion of the puzzle there. I will just skip on ahead. And here we are already. <laughs> See, all over here, you can just do stuff like that. Well, you could do stuff like that, but then there's this Koopa over here, which will not walk off the edge because he is of the red variety. And, okay, so what I want to do is hit this, throw the shell down, and it should clear the way. Yes, okay. We have ourselves a winner! Wait, what are you going to... You ever, I was going to say, are you going to ever leave that spot? Because if you're not, I'm kind of screwed there. And I'm also kind of screwed because I need to get the... Eh, I need to get the third star coin over there, and that probably is the result of a vine. Oh, and yeah, it's definitely P-Switch compatible, based on how those coins are... How, I'm not exactly... I'm not sure how exactly I was supposed to do this run, though, I mean... Hmm, well, I can simply run a shell down there. That wouldn't be too hard to do. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure I know which, which one has the vine and whatnot. Mm, you're welcome. Now, oh, come on, that is not worth it. <laughs> Wait, did I say you're, you're welcome instead of thank you? Hmm. I've got the puzzle on my mind. <laughs> Alright, one more time. One more time. I should have this one. Alright, let's do this myself, if you don't mind. <laughs> I'm gonna do that, and that should be a vine. Yep, just as I thought. And then, is there a ceiling here, or is there some sort of bonus place up here? There's a ceiling. So, that's the end of the stage! And I expect, after beating this, I will get the fifth star in my save file. Maybe. <laughs> that's my guess. Woo! Why, thank you. And I think that is 100% think. So, I'm going to do this, and let's just go back, let's see, four stars, huh, maybe I'm not done, <laughs> I'm unsure how to get that fifth star then. Let me take a look look around the the place. Maybe it's because I um, played bad enough to get um, those uh, super guide blocks, those things. Because I remember that there is a penalty to even getting one of them. Well, not using them, just getting them in the original game. So maybe that's what stopped me from getting the fifth star, if there is a fifth star. <laughs> Uh, well, let's just... I want to see if there's anything unlocked out on the map here. Whee! So... Oops. I should be able to cycle between levels, right? Because maybe I missed a level or star coin somewhere. I mean, uh, well, yeah, just a level. Because they said I got all the star coins. Or maybe four stars is the max you can achieve. I, I don't know at this point. Maybe I'll have to look that up myself or something. Because I'm quite puzzled. <laughs> if I press the yellow button to look at the map. I can see that everything is complete. Including unlocking the purple mushroom house there. Uh, any space? Special things around here. Oh, yeah, the uh, mushroom houses did indeed reset. Yeah, there's Navit. Maybe I'm supposed to 
uh, catch Nabbit in all the levels he appears in. That could be a possibility for the fifth star. Uh, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> well then. There's one thing that I still haven't showed in this walkthrough, and that is the game over screen. <laughs> I did so well that I never seen the game over screen. Well, I, I wouldn't say I did well, it's just that the game gave me a ton of lives, so I've just been suiciding on a brand new save file here, and... Oh, so it counts your continues if you game over, I suppose. That's all, really? Hmm. <laughs> well, I guess I'm going to end off this part then. <laughs> I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.